Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, attack helicopters, one and all. You know that one dipshit, so, well, not even so, so the person across the room who just says random dumb shit and has no idea what the fuck they're talking about. They always talk at their ass, but pretend like they know they're worth or think they're worth a damn. Yeah, I can think of two people like that. Me in high school and Zegler, or the whatever the name of the broad is, playing uh, the new Snow White movie is also. Um, she's an idiot. She is a fucking idiot. Like, she talks down about this, the original Snow White movie, which, by the way, was an awesome movie. I was a kid when I first saw it. I enjoyed it. And fuck this broad for assaulting it, verbally speaking. Um, like, she, like she called Prince Charming a stalker. I'm like, he's not a stalker. He saves her fucking life. I mean, maybe if you feminist bitches didn't hate men so much, you wouldn't be as offended by it. But hey, and it's not like this horse shit wasn't seen coming a mile. I remember, I think it was 2018, at the time Goblin Service came out, when I discovered it's a Gundam. We learned that Veronica Mars, of all people, was bitching about Snow White, saying that the prince needed to ask for fucking consent to break the curse the evil queen put on her. Somehow he's supposed to get consent from one who's now fucking unconscious. How is he supposed to get consent? I, like, how? Sway, how? I don't know if I'm getting the reference right, but fuck it. And the best part for me in all this is I heard today that even the son of the director of the original Snow White animation movie, even he is calling this horse shit out, actually. Which, thank God. Because I want these dipshits, I want them on full blast. I want them... What, well, what I actually want is, is legal speaking. It's vigilantism at best. But yeah, this will do. I mean, everyone is dragging, raking this bitch over the coals. And I love it for second. Sissy, fuck you, Zegler. And um, Gal Gadot, who also was on board with this horseshit. Fuck uh, Peter Dinklage, who I believe was a part of it. Uh, fuck all of you. I'd say I hope you burn in hell, but that'd be unfair to the people in hell. Because uh, they actually were productive with their time, unlike you. And most of your progressive for ilk. But, uh, yeah, that's my take on it. Um, the Snow White film is a class act movie. From what I, remember. I mean, I can't watch it now because I'm at war with fucking Disney and want nothing to do with them. And I would rather shoot my own toe off than do anything that benefits them in any, in any monetary way. But, uh, yeah, that's my take. Um, awesome film. This new one, I know nothing about what they're doing. All I know is they tried to make Snow White a girl boss, which, I mean, in the original, from what I remember anyway, she wasn't a girl boss, but she wasn't a victim. Like, she had her strengths, well, sort of her strengths. The dwarves were trying to help her. Who, by the way, Grumpy, uh, my man, God help him. God help him, Grumpy. I, as an adult, I that hits me right where I live now. What he's going through. Now I know what it feels like to be the Eeyore of the group. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, it's just dumb that they are attacking old. Like, what was wrong with the original? Uh, that I genuinely don't know. If anyone can tell me what it is they hate about this film, or if you're one of the people who hates the original film and you can tell me what you hate about it, please try to explain this in a way that doesn't re re doesn't devolve into to the usual buzzwords. Like um, this film when it first came out, was about a woman whose stepmother, her evil stepmother, wanted her dead. I'm not going to lie, as someone who's had a stepmother, I can kind of sympathize. Um, then she flees. She's saved by the huntsman, who, because he has a good heart, lets her live. And as she tries to fake her death, but unfortunately it doesn't, it doesn't fly or go the way he wanted it to, and then she escapes, meets the dwarves, and then the evil queen decides, well, if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. And then the dwarves, well, she actually takes herself out by accident, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But, yeah, it's just a stupid, this whole attacking of the old stuff, like this whole let the past die bullshit, it really needs to stop. Like the past, like to all you who hate the past, yeah, the people of the past were more productive and creative in one day. Than you have ever been in your entire life, and this goes for my me and my generation as well. Like I feel no, I feel no contempt for the for my predecessors. I actually respect them. 
unlike you, these dipshits. They should be applauded for the waves of innovation, not castigated and looked down upon by a bunch of hipster douchebags who've never been in danger of doing anything useful for the human race a day in their damn life. And that's my take, really, is just that. Like, Zagorot, you're an idiot. Gal Gadot, you're an idiot. Everyone involved in this movie, you are fucking idiots. Pinker Dinklage is also an idiot. I believe he's also involved. So, yeah, fuck it. I hope this movie doesn't burn to the ground, but I hope it goes the way of the Dodo bird. Only less remembered. Anyway, have a nice day. Remember, the game was rude from the start.